Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So today we're going over 10 tips to prepare you for your first convention. Whether you've been attending conventions for years or you've never even been to one before, these are some of my favorite pointers to get myself organized so I can have a much easier going convention experience. So let's get started! Tip number one! Register as early as possible. This is so simple, but if you register for your convention ahead of time by pre-registering, not only will you get your ticket cheaper, but the availability will be much better. So make sure you pre-register! Tip number two, be on top of your hotel booking. This goes especially for larger conventions because the hotels can sell out way fast. Always make sure you know when the room blocks are gonna open for each hotel. And if there are multiple hotels, try to have a backup because I was registering for Anthrocon a few years back and when I was booking my hotel, by the time the page loaded, my hotel was completely sold out. So make sure you have a backup hotel that all of you and your friends agree on. Also, I know it's cheaper to cram like 20 people in a room together, but don't do it. It's so uncomfortable. Tip number three, have a packing list. I know this sounds kind of silly. I mean, we should be able to pack our own stuff, but there's lots of little things that we tend to forget. If you write a list ahead of time, then you'll be way more organized, especially if you're like me and you tend to do all your packing at the last second. So if you write everything down, it'll make your life that much easier. And now, tip number four, know your expenses. There's so much more that goes into a convention than just the registration and hotel costs. You're gonna probably want to buy merchandise while you're there. You're gonna have to buy food. You're gonna have to pay for travel. If you're driving, figure out how much you're spending on gas. If you're flying, figure out how much it is to check bags. I also like to set a little bit of money aside for emergencies. It's one of those things that you don't typically think about, but man is it a lifesaver when you need it. When you're getting ready for a convention, make sure you plan all of your expenses. And now, tip number five, be ready for badge pickup. So you've arrived at the convention, you're all unpacked, and you're ready to go out there and have fun. Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure you pick up your badge. Most conventions require for pre-registering that you have a photo ID on you. And for those of you that are under 18, you might have to have a parent or guardian sign a waiver for you. So make sure you figure out ahead of time what kind of paperwork you might need. There's nothing worse than showing up to a convention after all that traveling and all that work and all that packing, and then not being able to have any fun because you don't have the right stuff to pick up your badge. Also make sure to pick up your convention badge as soon as possible. I know after doing a bunch of traveling, it can be really tempting to just knock out in the hotel room, but I really would encourage you to pick up your badge as soon as you can. This last year at Midwest Fur Fest, actually, my girlfriend wanted to take a nap in the hotel room and then she ended up just knocking out for the night. We went to badge pickup first thing the next morning, but she ended up missing a panel that she wanted to attend because the line was so long. So make sure you prepare for badge pickup. And now for the fun part, tip number six. Check your convention schedule. Most conventions post their schedules online, so you should be able to check it ahead of time. It makes your life so much easier when you know all the locations and times of all the different panels you want to attend. Plus, looking at all the stuff that they have there gets me really hyped. Which brings me to tip number seven. Show up early to panels and events. My recommendation if you want to get a good seat is to show up 30 to 60 minutes before the start time. If you don't really care where you'll be sitting during the thing and you just want to be in the room, you can definitely show up closer to the start time. So if there's something you've been looking forward to all weekend, make sure you show up early. And now tip number eight, follow the 621 rule. What is the 621 rule? Why I'm glad you asked other part of this conversation. The 621 rule stands for six hours of sleep, two meals, and one shower per day. Now mind you, these are the minimum requirements for a healthy, healthy weekend. I know it's really easy to get caught up in the craziness of a convention, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself. One thing about conventions that is infamous is something called concrete. It's a result of people being completely exhausted by not following the 621 rule. So keep this in mind if you want to have a much more comfortable convention experience. And now, tip number nine, go with the flow. A lot can happen during a convention, so you might not be able to get to go to every single panel you wanted to go to, or every single show that you wanted to see, or you might not be able to meet all the people you wanted to hang out with. The important thing is that you get the most out of the stuff that you do manage to attend. Which brings me to our final tip of the day. A convention is what you make of it. For instance, if you want to have a crazy party weekend, then go find people to party with. Go to the dances, check out some panels, go meet people on the floor. 
If you want to have a chill vacation, then find some laid-back people to hang out with and maybe have a get-together in your hotel room. Whatever your ideal convention situation is, it's up to you to make that happen. So thanks for watching today's video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you guys have any convention prep tips that I missed in this video? Go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible. Also, if you guys want to directly support the channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description below. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. 